Now, all roof tilers should know this, but for those roofers who don't, there are specific laying patterns for tiles. You've got the straight pattern, the cross pattern, and the quarter bond. Now, what we're looking at here is a straight pattern. So this is a straight pattern. You can see that they're all stacked. That all lines up and this is straight. There's reasons why on this particular tile, it's not recommended to lay it on a straight pattern. So this here is a cross pattern. You'll notice that it's exactly offset halfway. Halfway in the tile, you draw a line here and that lines up. And there's a reason why for this particular tile, the recommendations is to lay it on a cross pattern. Main reason is you've got a full support for the weak water course here. If you stand on this tile and there's a bit of a wobble on the tile, the tile moves up and down, right? you've, you've still got fairly good support for this tile. That's a straight lay. What happens is you've got this part of the water course that is resting on this corner of this tile. So if you've got a wobble in this tile for whatever reason, right, and you stand on this tile here, right, what happens is that you break the water course, like that happening down there. So, and that's the reason why you have a cross lay, so you get a better support. There's other reasons why you don't lay it straight. I'm going to later. Now, the quarter bond is if you have tiles like this, instead of laying it cross, right, they do make tiles with a groove right in the middle, similar to that. And in that instance, the recommendation is not straight, not cross, but what they call a quarter bond. So this goes, it's laid like that. Groove in there is then offset again instead of being half, it's a quarter. And there's a reason why they do that, and it's to do with water flow coming down there and trying to prevent the water from this groove from hitting that water course. So the water on this groove will run down there, because if you have it there, you can see water that's caught in there will go straight into that water course, could potentially cause you a problem. There are three different lays on the roof, the straight, the quarter that uh, we've looked at, and the cross. And you do get on roofs where the tilers just don't know and they just laid it either straight or a cross pattern uh, with tiles that's got a groove in it and not the quarter pattern because they just don't know the reason why there's a recommendation. Um, and until you go back to first principles, and understand why the tile manufacturers stipulate the different patterns of laying, people don't do it. Now, what happens with flat tiles is that when it rains, there's no defined channel for the water to run. So it runs across the tile, and you see that a lot of the water would go into the water course. And you can see what happens in there is that water runs down the water course and runs down there. So in a cross pattern, water comes down the water course and it runs along the flat tile. Then it goes to the next course and then it runs across. So say for instance here, um, you've got a flat concentration of water running down there. Right? And what happens is that a lot you see a lot of water gravitates towards the lap. So as a result, you can see there's a lot of water running down the water course. You see how much water is dribbling down here? There's a lot of water dribbling down the water course. So if you had laid this tile in what they call a straight pattern, which is if you have the water course matching up, what happens is a straight light, which is not recommended. And the reason it's not recommended is because there's so much water running down the water course, 
you have water that runs down the drip course, dribbles down here, and you're forcing a lot more water onto the water course on the row of tiles directly downstream of it. So instead of spreading the water load across the tile, if you had a um, if the water course was staggered, you get a lot more water come straight down the water course, dribbles down there, and it goes straight into the next water course. And as a result, it can overload the uh, water course, and that would cause leaks. Because you can see the amount of water that actually dribbles down, dribbles down the water course. There's a lot of water running down there. The water tends to sort of run, gravitate towards the edge of the tile and run into the water course. So there's, there's a fairly large load on the water course. So a straight layer like this is not recommended, uh, I think mainly because of the load on the water course.